Hey, what's up, everybody? Brent from Brent Speed. Thanks for watching Brent Speed TV. I'm out in the dyno today, and I had something. I thought, you know what? I'm going to show everyone this because it's something that's kind of unbelievable, something we tell people. That's something I see all the time that a lot of people think it's not true, but how a heavy 20-inch wheel can affect your dyno numbers. A wheel like this right here. Let's check this out. So behind me I have a Coyote Mustang, it's an automatic, and it's basically a stock car. And I made some pulls on this with the 20 inch wheels, and I could tell by the dyno number, because I see this, the numbers were a lot lower than you would normally expect off a car like this. So what I did is I put on some 18 inch factory wheels and tires, and I'm gonna show you a dyno pull like that. I think I'm gonna show you the weights of each wheel, and then I'm gonna put the 20s back on the car, make another pull, and we're gonna look at the graph so you can see. Typically, it's about a 5% difference in power between a heavy wheel and a stock wheel. An 18-inch wheel isn't even that light, so you would actually make more power if you had a lighter wheel than a factory wheel. But when you go to a heavy wheel or a wheel that maybe looks cool like a 20, your dyno numbers are normally sacrificed a little bit. And I'm not going to get into all the variables of a dyno, but here's just one of them. So let's take a look at a pull with a stock 18-inch wheel. We'll change back to the 20. We'll do a pull like that, and let's look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. Factory 18 inch wheel right here. Let's see what it weighs. 49.1 pounds. Okay, the 366 to the tires, about 350 torque with a factory 18 inch wheel. Let's weigh the 20, take a look at the dyno pull, and you're gonna be really surprised at what you see. And here you have the aftermarket 20. It's got a 255 35 tire on it, and it weighs in at 66.1 pounds. What do you think about that? I weighed the wheels, we had about 17 pounds each. The 20s were heavier, total 34 pounds. And what that meant was about a 5% loss in power on the dyno, running the 20s versus a factory style 18 inch wheel. And I think that holds pretty true, 5%, because there's been a lot of cars I've tested this on, mostly higher cars, stuff that makes like maybe 630, and then we put a 20 on it and it might make 595, 600, so about 5% loss. And that's something interesting. So if you have a heavy wheel on your car and you go out and you get a dyno, you can expect to see a little bit better number on a day that uh, you have a stock wheel. So 5% is kind of like the rule of thumb, but some cars might be a little bit more, some gonna be a little bit less. Depends on the weight difference of the wheels and tires. We're only talking 34 pounds, pretty significant difference across the board on the dyno. And uh, hey, I just wanna show you that. Thanks for watching Brent Speed TV. Please subscribe, like, and I really appreciate everything you guys do. Leaving comments, I'll answer them. And that's it. So thanks for watching this.